around 50 degrees, maybe 51. Uh, let's see. So here we go. We're in PS0. And yes, it does pedal good. So I'm not going to talk more about PS0 in pedaling because it does work. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of side view too. Uh, and where we're going, I know where we're going. I don't know how long, it's a few mile ride, uh, but it's the best day we have. I think tomorrow's a good day too. And then we uh, fall into some bad weather days. Yeah, a couple days, then we're near Christmas. And uh, we're celebrating uh, two Christmases to the, uh, this week. First, we're going to celebrate on uh, Friday or Saturday, I think. I think we're celebrating on Saturday. Um, no, Friday. No, Saturday. We're going to celebrate Saturday night for a few hours uh, with the kids. And that's because uh, David and his uh, girlfriend are going to be out of town. They are going to uh, Spokane, and then from there, uh, the following week, because they'll be in Spokane, we're going to be with uh, Jeffrey and Francis uh, on New Year's Eve. We do that every year, and um, we're going to celebrate with them, and then New Year's Day, Francis goes with her family uh, over in Vancouver, Washington. And we go with uh, some of our great friends, uh, usually over their house, and celebrate Christmas Day with some uh, food and fellowship. That's very nice. Um, but that's kind of what we do. Okay, so this road, I took this road on purpose. One, to get off the main road. And two, I just want to kind of see how this bike travels on a slightly rougher road. So, it's uh, very nice, um, it's fun ride, it's windy, it's, it's definitely cold, I can feel the, uh, it's supposed to be 50, it's a cold 50, it's not a nice 50, um, but what we're doing here, we're, we're going to test out some of these uh, areas here, like this is a pretty rough uh, little pass, patch here of ground. I was going to go over by the church. I uh, chose not to do that area because uh, there's one road over there that's pretty rough, and I wanted to take it, but I thought this area would be um, a little different, uh, a little bit more, um, what's the word, uh, different than what you normally get to see from my channel. I don't know if I've ever been up this way, but let's go up this way. And I'll pedal a little bit here because I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to pull these over. Get this on my fingers, that's better. And now my fingers are warmer. Yeah, if I went up this, I, I, I went up it a long time ago. I'm going to turn on my lights and make sure everyone can see me. All my lights are on now. So... Yeah, let's let's drive a little bit and see where we're going. Certainly uh is a different turning bike than than a bike bike. Uh it, it doesn't turn sharp unless you are going slow. If you go fast, uh you're gonna take a wide turn. That's exactly what you're gonna do when you go fast. So uh definitely gotta be careful about that. Yeah, I've been on this route coming this way before. I don't think I've ever come this way, so I do recognize where I'm at. I do know it, it'll come out where kind of I want it to. And uh, I want to take my one little bridge uh, over a little bike pedestrian bridge. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a windbreaker type top. Uh, this is the top I bought last year for my bike riding. Upper body is beautiful. Ears are a little cold. I should have worn my mask. And uh, my uh, Exneto uh, inner liner, 
I didn't think it was going to be that cold, so I didn't wear that. And uh, yeah, it's this is a nice riding a little trike here, uh, Moon Cool, having fun on it. Uh, and I've ridden it now probably further than I rid it, rode it on my uh, inner or my my initial review day. Uh, and we haven't gone far, but I can tell you, I can feel the seat now, and the seat's pretty good. <laughs> uh, I can feel it is wider than most others, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I'm going that way. Yeah. Yeah, so I brought my key to my mailbox. So when we go back home, I'm going to put my mail in here. I checked it the other day because there was some stuff I had to get. Mother-in-law card, you know, stuff like that. Uh, although the mother-in-law card didn't show up. Uh, so now it'll be there today. So I'm going to go to the mailbox, get the mail, and... Uh, yeah, but we're we're we gotta get out on a day like this, guys. We just gotta get out on a day like this. And the other thing I like getting out on it and doing poof, some big old leaf or something hit me is uh, just getting a feel for it, getting a feel. You know, I'm I'm a big guy. Uh, trike smaller than you think. Uh, it, well, it's not smaller than you think. It fits me fine. <laughs> But uh, you're, you, I guess it's the three wheel. I'm so used to riding a two wheeler. Uh, I, I'm, I'm looking for unexpected uh, looks, you know. Not that it'll bother me, uh, but I'm hoping someone will ask me about it and say, hey, man, that's a really cool trike. And we can uh, encourage them to visit the moon, moon cool site and uh, look at their trikes. Yeah. So another thing I heard. <laughs> uh, here we go. A friend of mine, a couple of friends of mine are getting some moon cool bikes. That's awesome. Uh, can't wait to watch them ride them. Can't wait to see what they think of them. Uh, they're the non-folding version of this bike. I think they're also, they might be four inch wide tires. I don't know. But very interested in seeing their uh, take on it. And uh, once they get them and they get them out there and put out there, I'll probably, at that point, uh, direct you to their channel so you can watch their video on the, uh, on the next uh, trike. Uh, I, th I think I kind of found out a little bit ahead of time from them uh, about it. So, so that's why I don't want to uh, spill the beans. I, I spilt the beans, but I'm not spilling you the beans of who, who, who's got them. More reviewers. That's kind of cool. I like that. Well-deserving people, that's for darn sure. Yeah, so I got the uh, I got the camera at a side view just because I want you guys to see what it looks like from a side view. Yes, I'm not pedaling much. Why am I not pedaling much? Because I'm talking. I always tell you that. I talk a lot. But here we go. This is where I wanted to go. I wanted to see what it felt like on this bridge. Although the bridge is pretty smooth, it also has some pretty good bumps. Oh, they changed it. This is uh, quicker coming up here, I think. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I just don't remember. I got to stay on the left side because my camera is way out there on the right. <laughs> it could be further out. It just isn't. I'm going to turn up that way too. Yeah, uh, this is this is what I remember. <laughs> Little hoop de doos, man. I was a lot simpler on a trike. <laughs> a lot simpler on a trike. A lot more, um, uh, less worrisome. You don't worry about them hoops throwing you off the saddle a little bit. That was very smooth, very comfortable. All right, let's see how we're going to work around this post in the middle here. So I think we'll go this side and I'll just make sure my camera clears it. And it did by three inches. I've never seen this before. This is locked. Oh, yeah, okay. It's the next one that's not locked. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Things are changing around here in just a few months. All right. Here we go. 
on and off the curb didn't hurt anything and now we're gonna go this way guys we'll let her go that way we'll go back on the street and here we go I'm around her but I'm gonna get back in here because the streets a little busy and I know I got a good long run here uh, on this material yeah There we go, got a runner. Now we got a lady up here walking. Yeah, uh, people getting out on this last, <laughs> second to last good day of weather here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. Everything is drenched off these spots here. Hello. Hi. Yeah, so, so here we go. Uh, the one thing, this definitely, uh, when you pedal, I'm in PAS3, I think. Uh, it There's PAS3. It definitely, um, there's PAS3 right there. It definitely is um, more of a very light ghost pedal. That's what it feels like. Uh, and I'm okay with that, certainly for a trike. Um, yeah, but look at the day, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful day. Whew. Yeah, we're going up in this neighborhood here. When I get out on the street, I will extend the uh, camera out a little more. I don't know how much of the bike it's catching. Uh, it shouldn't be catching all of it from the distance it is, but it can go out another foot. Yeah, dang, I'm telling you, 16 miles an hour on this bike is fast. It is fast. All right, let's uh, extend this out. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole nother foot out. Let's see if that makes a difference to you. We'll ride around the neighborhood a little bit like that. Maybe on the way back, I won't have to worry about it because uh, I'll be going the opposite direction. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if there's trees or not that'll be in my way that way. See, that's my big concern is riding over there catching a tree or something so I was asked uh, someone said would you would you take it up to the Vernonia trail and ride it up that uh, that trail uh, this bike could make the trail it, it could do it um, the problem is the trail and that ride uh, out there and back is roughly 40 miles and uh, I'm not going 40 miles in this weather <laughs> You'll have to wait for a spring, summer for that. Uh, but I, I, I can tell you just from the power I feel on the trike, it has the power to climb that. Uh, definitely has the power to climb it. Yeah, and I should put more air in the tires. Uh, I have not filled them up. <laughs> I, I took it out today. I looked at my pump. I was going to pump it up. And then my thought was, my thought was, huh? Oh, thank you. I just got it. It's a review bike for a YouTube channel, for my YouTube channel. And uh, they, they mail them out to YouTubers. And uh, pretty cool. Only goes about 16 miles an hour, but it goes it with throttle or pedal. And uh, yeah, it's a, gr it's a great little company. Uh, What's your YouTube? Mine is called, it's kind of weird. It's not a bike channel. Well, it is, but it wasn't. It, it's called RV, just RV, like an RV yeah. enthusiast. Okay. Yep. And yeah, yeah, I got a bunch of bikes. You should check it out if you're interested in a bike. Cool, thanks. Have a great day. All right. So there we go. Now we're going to come over here. I want to look at something here, guys. What I want to look at, and I think what I want to tell you, is um, I think, yeah, the reason it's got good torque is 
this gear here <clears throat> is pretty good size. It's not just a little small, uh, a small sprocket. It's like an in-between sprocket on on a on a on a derailleur. So that's why it's got good torque. Yeah, that's why it's got good torque. Yeah, guys, we're we're out riding. I don't know how far we've gone already. How far we're gonna go? This is probably two, three miles from the house or so. But uh, yeah, rode it up here by this school, and uh, just gonna ride it around a bit in the lot. And then we'll head back. Yeah. And you can hear, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but if you turn hard, you'll hear the back wheel spin. Hear that? Yeah, so it's coming off slightly. Uh, it's good because uh, it shows you that, you know, it's tipability isn't so, it's not so tippable, tippable, tip, tippable? Yeah, just standard riding. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to turn real hard here. And you can see it, it's pretty, it's really stable. Really stable. So, I think I'm going to go up here now. Well, let's go around. Either way, it gets us to the same spot. Yeah, this way's cooler. The wind's not blowing in your face. 17.5, uh, guys. This is flat, too. I mean, it's pretty flat. Why is it going 17 miles an hour? Craziness. Yeah, I... Uh, Finally getting a little more time to watch a little bit of YouTube, catching up on some of my friends and some of my uh, new friends and old friends that I didn't even know had YouTube channels. A little quick shout out to my boy Jerry T up in Ohio. Uh, he's a, a magic cycle guy from a long time back. And uh, he's... Uh, I didn't know he had a YouTube channel. He's always been on my channel talking, you know, giving comments and stuff, but he never said, hey, I got a YouTube channel, and I never really clicked on his profile to see. I just thought he came from Magicycle because he was a friend from me of mine from Magicycle. Now, today, I subscribed to him, watched his videos, and he's, uh, he's a good guy, man. He's a good guy. If any of you don't know... Uh, I'll try to leave a link somewhere uh, in the description. You can just click on it and join his channel, too. He's a very nice person. Um, yeah. Don't know where I'm going. Oh, I think I might turn back and go that way. I know I wanted to come through this field. Uh, oh, this is as far as over as I can go. Uh, I, thought it, I, thought it, uh, I thought I was one up, and it came through to here. My bad. All right. That's why you explore. You, you, you get to learn things that you didn't know uh, or you didn't remember. It could be I didn't remember. Uh, seem to be struggling, struggling a little more with some of that uh, as I age. Uh, typically, my struggles aren't with uh, most stuff. It's just with remembering like, like, like uh, odd names. Not people's names, but odd names of things. Yeah, like, like, uh, and I, I, this isn't a, this isn't a real one, but like an expedition. I'd be like, what is that name? Expedition. What's an, what's another word for expedition? And I just have no thought of what to look for or figure it out. Uh, aging. It's a wonderful thing. And a not so wonderful thing. <laughs> All right, I'm turning here. I'm going up here. Yeah, it, it, this it's it's pretty cool, man. The little trike is cool. Mulcool T T Mulcool TK1 trike. Yeah. Yeah.
Hey, up at this little road, can I pass you a little bit? I got a camera on the side. I didn't want to hit you with it. Oh, okay. Okay. You <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, guys, and here we go. We're back off. And again, we're doing 17.8, the fastest I've seen so far, no, 17.3, I thought it was 17.8, it might have been 17.5. Okay, I'm going to try to pedal, no, you can't pedal it any faster, certainly can't pedal it any faster. Yeah, no, I ain't doing that. I'm going to blow past these people, no, I'm not, I'm just kidding. Here we go, we'll slow it down, there we go, hello. Now, we'll pick back up speed. Woo! Man, I'm within inches of those uh, poles. Yeah, what a beautiful day. Yeah, we're real fortunate up here in uh, the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we're in a valley. We don't get a ton of snow. We get snow about two or three times a year that we get to see it anyway. Uh, one of the three, it won't stick. Uh, but two of the three, you'll get a little bit of sticking. Um, I think only one year, we did one or two years, uh, me living up here, we didn't have any snow whatsoever, just the whole, rain the whole time. But if we get some sticky snow, I'm going to take this out in my uh, my pole barn driveway, which is asphalt like this. I'm going to do some donuts on it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do some donuts on it. Hey, we'll come up in here. I know this is a, a, a blocked street. Uh, it doesn't go far, but let's just go go down it. Yeah, the TK1 from Mooncool. Very cool. If you don't have a great balance or you're older and you don't want to have to think about it and you're a little nervous of falling off a, a bike, this is certainly the way to go. Uh, you can pull over and talk to people. Hey, I'm in a nice spot. This is kind of nice. And talk to people, not have to get off the bike, just you know, sit on it because the seat's very comfortable and plush. Um, it doesn't have a backrest. It's like the fat tire one that they sell, the TK1 fat tire, has a backrest. Um, I haven't noticed that I would need it. Maybe a thinner person would need it. Not that it wouldn't be cool to have, but this one doesn't have it. And uh, not, I don't miss it. I don't, I don't think about it. Uh, I don't have any that have that backrest. So, yeah. All right, we went back towards where my son lives, kind of. They're all at work today, so no one's home. But I'm going to come up here. We'll do that. And uh, I want to go down the, the ramp on that wooden bridge. Yeah, they put this little, little street in. Someone had some land and decided to build all these little houses on this one street. I uh, remember them doing it. I don't know if I really like it, but who am I to say? Someone made some money doing it. Yeah, see, even when the trike goes, like when one foot goes off like there, see, one foot's off. I don't feel like I'm unstable at all. Then I'm going to bring it right back on, slips right back on. It would have done better even with a fuller tire. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty stable. It's real stable, in fact. I'll take everything off, and then we'll come right back on. Not a problem at all. Not a problem at all. Like I said, if I had full tires, air in the tires, it would have been even better. Yeah, stability on it is great. All right. Now, I think I'm going to bring... Although you're not out too far, I think I'll bring you in a little bit. Oh, here, here, this is a good steep grade. This is maybe 4% here. And we'll just hold the brakes. See, they hold great. And then we'll just let go and we'll, no pedaling. It just goes right up it. 
from a dead stop. So it's got good torque, uh, good gearing ratio back there to get you going on a hill. I don't know if you guys remember in the summer I went, I took another bike and uh, I got caught on a hill where I was following the girls and they went up the hill and uh, I started off slow because I didn't quite realize where I was going with them and I got caught and it sucked. Here we go. It truly sucked. All right. Can we make it through? That's what I'm checking. Even with my camera on, uh, can we make it? Yeah, everything's turning just fine. There we go. I'm trying to stay a little bit to the left because of uh, the camera. Sure would hate to knock that thing off. There's a lot of money in that thing. Here, I should actually bring it in a little bit here. Here, that's a little more safe. Yeah, this is easy. Pretty easy, guys. Now we're going down, doing about 11, 12. Hit the brakes hard. Nice stop. Caused a dog to bark. Now we're back in. Now we're in kind of my son's neighborhood mostly it's the back side squirrely 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 boom 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 oh that was very nice that was let me show you that this is what i just went off of and i didn't quite realize it I should have gone off here like that, but I didn't, but I didn't, I kind of went off here, very smooth. I went off the curb, full curb, diagonally, not the best way to go off. If you're going to go off, go off uh, perpendicular to them, but it wasn't a bad deal. Yeah, now I got the trike all the way over here to my son's house. And there we go. I don't know. Do I want to do it? I haven't decided. Yeah, let's do it. Heck, we got we got time, we got space. We gonna yeah. That's my boy. He got a different bike. That's my boy. He used to have that little Jetson. Now he's got like a hay bike. Better bike than he had, for sure. <clears throat> All right, thank you, people. Thank you. Yeah, now we're going up the Vidoc. Interesting. Interesting. The biggest thing you worry about here, because it's uh, street and stuff, and car racks and everything like that. You worry a little bit about glass and stuff thrown out on the curb. Hopefully with my tires low enough anyway, you just ride over it. That would be the hope. And here we go. Hey, gasoline three seventy five three eighty five. Seventy five is cash only. Eighty five is debit or credit. But that's that's getting down for Oregon. Yeah, here we go. Now we're back on the main street, heading towards the house. Still doing fifteen miles an hour up this. Uh, we're dropping into the fourteens, but right up this hill at four, over 14 miles an hour and I uh, did not drop below 14 too so good deal there 
Yeah, we've had no snow whatsoever. You'd see it up on the, uh, the caps of those mountains right there. Yeah, I think I'm just going to, I got the throttle off, guys. I'm just kind of giving a little pedal just to make me go. And we are full power. I forgot there's five power modes. My brain was thinking three. Now we're in the fifth power mode. Uh, and we are doing 15 and a half pedaling, just what it's supposed to do. Now, if I stop pedaling and throttle, that's when it gets up to 16 and a little plus. Uh, yeah, staying at 15.5, slightly uphill. Yeah, these guys over here, we're putting them doors in, and at first we're like, oh, hopefully they don't leave them that. They were they were uh, maintenance doors, so they were white. They were very ugly. Then they finally put the beautiful, beautiful doors on, and that looks great. Wish my doors looked like that. Beautiful. But I ain't paying the money to put all that in. I'm too cheap. <laughs> and this guy right here, man, he puts Christmas lights up every year. Uh, very nice, very nice Christmas lights. I uh, I like Christmas. I like looking at Christmas lights, but uh, he pays to have it done, and uh, I don't do that. I can celebrate Christmas in my brain and with my family and my kids and grandkids uh, by visiting like uh, the zoo lights or up here we've got the Hillsboro Hops uh, Tonkin Stadium uh, light show. I'll go do that. I'll pay for that, but I'm not paying a couple thousand bucks to put them up for three weeks. It's not my style. <laughs> yeah, this field's been sat bare for a few months now, maybe three months, uh, maybe longer actually. I uh, don't know what he's doing, why he's, I mean, why he's not making money on it. Uh, that guy's making money on his field. It's like maybe he's, uh, you know, he put all that uh, lime and stuff on it. So I think he's just probably prepping it for the spring, giving it a break. Kind of like a shoe, letting it air out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, what a day. What a day. Oh. Uh. That sounds like a military helicopter. Yeah, so uh, here I'm at seven miles. So I've gone easily six miles. I'll have gone maybe maybe seven miles by the time I get back. And... Uh, that's a good ride on the trike. It could eat this trike could easily. I mean, I'm I'm still got four bars from uh, the five or six or whatever it was. This will easily do uh, 20 miles if uh, if I had better weather. And uh, you know, over the summer, I think I'll take it down to the uh, to the banks and then back. And that's 20 miles. And you guys will see this is this this trike. This is a trike to get. Uh, this trike is uh, very nice, man. I'm glad I got it. Yep, got another review coming in in a few days. Uh, I'll post that for you. Um, tell you a little bit about it after I post it. Very cool, though. Very cool. Uh, I love this thing. I am not... One thing I can tell you, man, I, I, I'm, you know, I, I've gotten rid of a few bikes and I've kept a lot of bikes. And uh, the other two trikes I had, I actually got rid of. This trike uh, is going to stay in the arsenal. I'm not getting rid of it. All right. Yep, the little package is here. We 
we will put that there. Uh, I'll put this in the front with me. I'll just hold it. I'm on a trike. It's stable. Yep, very stable. Heck, on a trike, you can even read what you got. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was my enjoyable ride on the Moon Cool TK1 trike. Uh, this is a recommend, man. This is a highly recommend. If you're in the need of a trike or you want a trike, this is the trike. Very cool. Very, very cool.